Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, this is Forgotten Camel, and welcome to another Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. Today we have a scenario of orcs versus humans, and, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat's sore, um, I just, I have placed here 19,000 orcs versus 23,000 humans, and, uh, the humans have 10,000 footmen, 600 archers, 5,000 knights, and 7,500 spearmen. Versus the, let's, I believe it's just 19,000 orcs and 60 orger, <clears throat> excuse me, ogres. I have a sore throat. So I have placed the orcs in, well I separated them in three areas. We have a small group, smaller group that's 5,000 strong with 60 o ogres. They're the, they're the support for the ogres and back over here. That's the 7,500 Spearmen. They are the reinforcements meant to attack from behind. And, of course, 5,000 Knights attempting to uh, protect the rear entrance or side entrance of the town. So they are all in attack mode. So... We should just go on ahead and start the battle. The frame rate is fairly low. So, alright, I had a slight problem with the frame rate. I tried fixing it, but it does not look any better. The orcs still move, well, very slowly. I don't remember having this problem when I had 40,000 troops last time. But, uh, we're always starting. So let's go ahead and go on to over here. Man, the frame rate is so bad right now. I'm not sure I can use any of this for my outro. So I've been meaning to create a three-way battle, but some of these orcs look a little bit too close together. To do that, they are expected to completely wipe out the footmen, but the spearmen are going to attack from the rear, however so slowly. And the knights will attempt to take on the, these 5,000 troops, although the orcs are splitting up. By the looks of things, archers are attacking the right flank. Right flank is very, very weak right now. And unfortunately, these footmen are very much outnumbered. It might go out to one of my earliest videos where they just got slaughtered. Honestly, I'm really surprised by this frame rate drop. It's usually at like 10 or so. Uh, but it looks like some of the orcs have noticed these spearmen coming in from behind. Uh, and this is an awesome thumbnail for me to have. Yes, this is a good thumbnail right here. So, in case you didn't know, I am using a new recording software. I decided to switch from D3D gear to OBS. 
and maybe some like some many years ago I tried using OBS once but the the tutorials were so different at the time that they were unrecognizable because at the time OBS had been updated just in a very severe way that makes it look nice and, st and all that but the tutorials were incredibly outdated so I had no idea what to do and I could not figure out how to even record any software so when I tried to uh, use it I, I just couldn't get anything out of it and so by that time I started using Fraps and Fraps is a really really good uh, recording software uh, back then, I bought it for probably about $10, but the price has raised a little bit since then. And, uh, to be perfectly honest, OBS is, well, better than Fraps, I can tell you that. So by the looks of things, man, these footmen are getting slaughtered. It's to be expected. Normally, you would want to have ten times as many footmen to take on these guys. Oof. Look at those knights, though. These knights are taking a large amount of casualties. Mind you, they are pushing the orcs, but there is... They are severely outnumbered by those orcs. And unfortunately, it looks like some of the orcs have started engaging the archers. Some of the footmen are trying to save them, though. So, that's noble of them. But they, these guys are about to be... That right flank is disintegrating. So I'm, I don't know. I think the, I think the frame rate drop might have to do with the OBS, because the frame rate is pretty low for me, even by uh, Ultimate Epic Battle Sim standards. Because I remember playing with forty thousand troops on the field. I don't remember having this much of a low frame rate, and I can't even move without it looking like it's teleporting. And unfortunately, the frame rate does not get really get that much better. Yes, this is by far the most annoying frame rate I've ever had. I haven't had this frame rate problem since playing Fallout 4. Yeah, those uh, footmen are getting bombarded by those trolls. They have 60 of them. Oh! But it looks like the spearmen are attacking in the rear. So that's good news. Uh, the rear over there, anyways. Pretty soon they'll be able to engage those pesky ogres, but I'd say that it's too late for these footmen over here. Jeez, this, this frame rate is really annoying. Yes, well, the footmen over here have been... they're surrounded. They're all, they're getting surrounded. And over here, these footmen... wow. There are just too few footmen. I was hoping that they'd be able to hold out long enough to at least be relieved from the spearmen, but uh, that 
doesn't appear to have done anything. Now, wow, the orcs have taken out two twice as many troops than the uh, well humans, and this the knights over here are getting pushed back by the ogres. I don't believe that that's just not good. We need to have a good number of knights to be able to win this battle. And these spearmen are going to engage those ogres from behind. That'll be a boon for them. Unfortunately, those ogres are just devastating these troops over here. Yes, I gave them 60 uh, ogres, and they've lost a few, and it looks like they have about 20 or so ogres over here, and that's going, that, that's not going to help these humans very much. These spearmen need to take out the ogres over here as soon as possible in order to be able to get the knights to help these guys out because they're in trouble they're in a lot of trouble but a few of the og ogres did get taken out over here actually I'm sorry they're not ogres they're cyclopses I don't know why I'm messing them up but the cyclopses are being taken down to the archery oh wow Yes, most of the spearmen over here have been killed by boulder fire. I probably should have given them some more spearmen. But this is pretty interesting. They're about they're like four one, two, three, four, five. You just there, there's just so many separate battles going on at the moment. I want to see more of this, but um, maybe later I'm going to have to, have to fix the frame rate problem. Excuse me, I bumped my mic. Well, the archers might be able to take out uh, most of the Cyclopses might be. They they still got about a dozen Cyclopses left over here. And now the Ogres, or I mean Orcs, are going to engage those Archers. So the Archers are pretty much done for over there. Oh man. And the Spearmen got slaughtered over here too. So I'm pretty sure this is a win for the Orcs. That's unfortunate. And that those spearmen were supposed to help turn the tide of the bow, but I guess they had too many cyclopses. Or maybe not enough archers. If they had like a couple hundred more, maybe this battle would have turned out differently. But by the looks of things, this is a huge loss. A huge devastating loss for the humans. And it's pretty cool to see so many separate battles going on over here. I love I love seeing things like this. I didn't expect so many of those spearmen to get killed. I was hoping that they'd be able to take all all those uh, cyclopses, but that that did not happen and these archers are going to get killed by about 5,000 ogres uh, or orcs I keep mixing them up it's pretty cool to see these bows over here though because they're all separate it's, it's interesting I think I need to do more battles like that. Just, you know, see more separate battles going on.
Those pesky Cyclopses. Wow, I'm surprised that uh, the that those orcs have held out for so long. And the knights at the time even outnumbered them. Hopefully those archers will avenge their fallen comrades on this side of the bow, but this is uh, definitely a losing bow. They're going to win the skirmish, but they will not win the battle. Or maybe you can call it... Uh, I don't know. They're all separate bows. But they're not going to win bows in all the places... And they're most definitely not going to win the war. But over here, this looks like a victory for the soldiers. And now the archers can focus on the Cyclopses. Unfortunately, I can't find a good outro for this since the frame rate is just so low. But they have won the battle over here, and now they are going to go into a new ma battle despite being notoriously outnumbered. Oh. This is very unfortunate. Those spearmen were supposed to take out quite a few orcs. But they're, they're just completely outnumbered and just basically being attacked in the flank and rear. They're almost completely surrounded. Pretty soon, that's just going to end in a massacre. Because co they only managed to take out at least 10,000 or 11,000 of the orcs. This, this is not very good for humankind. And there's still so many Cyclopses left alive. But here comes another battle starting, and those archers are going to get killed by the orcs. They're too close together. Oh, but look at this. Uh, look at the all the dead littering the field in the background, and the knights just engaging that. Oh, yes. I am going to... I can probably use this part as an outro, despite the frame rate being so bad. But I like to see that huge that battle going on in the background over there. I always love seeing that. That's always good for a screenshot and using it for a bit of memory. But by the looks of things, they have turned around to go engage the knights. Yes, the battle has ended over there, and now there are just orcs and ogres from all over going to engage the poor knights. You are the last ones left. Fight and die for your king. Fight and die. So you can see here where the battles 
had started. They took a stand over here and were just completely outnumbered by the orcs. They couldn't take them all out, but they did manage to take a few orcs with them despite being heavily outnumbered. Currently, there are 7,600 or 7,700 uh, troops left on the orc side, and pretty soon they will completely snuff out the rest of the humans. In fact, as I look over here, there's quite a few orcs that went down trying to take out the humans. It's too bad that the humans uh, had to take their last stand here. But that's life, you know. And now the archers are getting taken out. Yes, this is unfortunate, but the humanity has lost their city that they were meant to defend. And now the orcs are finally victorious. So... The humans got 11,000 the orcs, and the orcs got 18,575. Now, that's not really an accurate uh, of how many they killed. Technically, they killed 21,000, but the orcs threw rocks, and there was collateral damage. So, that's that. Anyway, I do hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like and subscribe for more. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and good day.